friends, welcome to Dakota Test Prep Question Walkthrough. In this video, we're going to be discussing voltage drop from the 2024 Canadian Electrical Code. Previous versions of the Canadian Electrical Code had voltage drop with only one formula and just a couple of variables. It was actually pretty simple. The reason it was so simple was because of DC, direct current. However, AC is something that does exist in this world. So a bunch of people said, hey, uh, maybe, maybe we should figure that out. And boy, did they. So they redid the entire table D3. And also, we now have a bunch of different formulas. So let's work through this question and see what we can do. What is the distance a 120, 240, number two aug with 90% power factor in a raceway can carry a 100 amp load within a 2% voltage drop? Right off the bat, we know that this question specifically needs to use the 2024 electrical code. And the reason for that is because we see that it has 90% power factor. And if you remember back, power factor only applies to AC alternating current. So let's get started. The very first thing we want to do is because there are so many more variables, we're going to list them off on the side and we're going to fill them out. Once we filled them out, it makes popping them into the formula so much easier. So we have our voltage at the source. We have VD, which is our voltage drop in volts. We have our fancy new K factor, which is based off of table D3. We have an F factor as well. It doesn't have its own table, but it's attached to D3, if that makes any sense. We have our I, which surprisingly still means current. And we have L, which is length. Uh, that has to be done in meters. So our voltage at the source, when we look at the question, is a 240 volts. Voltage drop, we can figure out. K, we can figure out. F, we can figure out. Our I current in this one is 100 amperes. And our length, we don't know. So we're just going to do a little, hmm. Hmm, we don't know. So we're just going to do a little, uh. This is what we're looking for. There we go. That's our length. Give some hair. There we go. Give some eyebrows too. Oh, now he looks mad. Okay, so let's figure our voltage drop. In this question, it specifically states 2%. So we're going to take our 240 applied voltage, and we're going to multiply that by our 2%. Zero. Whoops, that should be a 2. <laughs> let's get rid of that and fix that right there. Zero, 2. And that gives us 4.8 volts. So 4.8 volts is the maximum amount of volts we can uh, lose, pardon me, when it comes to this question. Our K factor is based off of the new table D3. So when we're trying to figure this out, we have certain options, as everything does. With this one, copper or aluminum. When it comes to just life in general, we're never supposed to assume. But as always, the Canadian Electrical Code's a little tricksy. If the question doesn't mention copper or aluminum, we always assume copper. This question specifically mentioned raceway, so we're going to use that one. It also mentioned our 90% power factor, so we're going to use that column. And then it also mentioned a number two. So we just take a little trip over here. Do, 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 coming down here. And we end up with 0 0.639. I'm going to pop that in here. 639. Now, again, the F factor is based off of some fancy math that they did. When it comes to the F factor, everything, everything is 2. We use a multiplier of 2. Except, except if it's 3 phase. If it's three phase, we use our magic three phase number, which is 1.73. In the question that we have, it doesn't mention anything about three phase, so we're going to use our multiplier of two. Two. And now, look at that. We have all these guys. So all we have to do is pop them into our formula for length. And in this case, length is less than or equal to voltage drop times a thousand, one, two, three zeros, divided by our K factor times our F times I. 
So we're just going to take our variables over here, pop them in. L has to be less than or equal to 4.8 volts times 1,000 divided by our K factor, 0 0.639 times our F of 2 times our ampies of 100 amps. So once we do all the math, we end up with 37.55 meters. So our length has to be equal to or less than 37.55 meters. And in case you don't remember how to do these, you always, as if it's an alligator, and the alligator's always eating the bigger number. So this number here, our 37.55, our length has to be less than that. And that, my friends, is exactly how we do the question on how to find distance. Ta-da!